are definitely late to the uh, first night of the last weekend of Fright Fest. And I haven't been here in a hot minute. Three weeks. So I'm going to start off with Justice League. See if I still got it in me. Because going on three weeks is my last ride on this. Too easy. Piece of cake. Second screen max. First track in three weeks. Thought I'd be rusty? Nah, that was just a myth. Absolutely killed it. It's basically a walk-on, so I'm gonna go do that a second time and then go up to the boss because it is the nicest day of this weekend and the high temperature between tomorrow and uh, Sunday is gonna be below 55 degrees. Boss's track temperature needs to be 55 degrees for that to open. Tonight's the last night of Boss's operation for the year, if I had to guess. So I'm gonna go up there and do a couple laps on that after I ride Justice League once or twice more. Didn't match the second screen that time, but I still got it uh, early third screen. So that was pretty good. Also, they finally fixed the Joker animatronic to an extent. Now, it doesn't shoot the laughing gas effect like it often does, but it still dries out towards you and uh, does the audio clip, which finally, it felt like everyone was uh, missing something. And also the fire effect was going too. So I'm glad to see that they uh, partially fixed Joker. Now, will they put the laughing gas effect, which is that fog effect that Joker shoots out of you? Will they put that back in before the season ends? I'm not sure. But then again, we got like two days after today. So not counting on it. I'm gonna go ride the boss now and then I'll come back to Mr. Freeze after a while here because if I'm coming here on Sunday, which I might do it because it's the last day of the season, Freeze I'm sure should be open. Boss will not be if I had to guess. So let's head up to uh, Boss. <laughs> boss was insane. I don't know how Freeze or any of the other coaches here will be able to beat it. That was just wild. Definitely as good as I remembered it being last time I rode it. I rode it with Ella's front row and actually Ryan is here tonight. Will he be able to ride anything besides Justice League given his injury? I'm not sure. It'll be cool to uh, hang out with him for a little bit. So I'm gonna ride this again while I'm up here and then uh, I'll go down and meet up with Ryan. Uh, I do want to ride Rookie Race with him if he does get to ride that. And then uh, I'll go down to Mr. Freeze and scream when he after a while. <laughs> He's back. I'm back. <laughs> and uh, update. He's still wearing uh, whatever that is a called. Boot. A boot. Okay, I should have known. You did actually get to ride Rookie Racer. What did you think of it? Uh, it's, it's been so long since I've been on a roller coaster. This felt so amazing. Yeah. Uh, so smooth. Yeah. It's really smooth. Out of the next gen Vacomas I've done, it's probably the weakest, but. Well, then again, it's like a Vacoma. <laughs> what, next level junior coaster, I guess? But it's still the most joy I've gotten in a while. Fair enough. I mean, the last time we rode a coaster was what? Voyage at Holiday World back in September? World, September 2nd. Yeah, that was almost uh, two months ago. We got Rookie going now. And uh, you did row seven, which I think is second to back. Yeah. Uh, we should try and get uh, very front and very back, and then we can see which one you definitely like better. What do you say? Go for it? Sure. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Your racer is done, and uh, Ellis, you rode the back, Ryan and I did the front. Do you think it was the same as usual? Yes, it is. Like, my favorite part of me being in the back on there is that very first drop from the left tail. Yep, yep. 
and uh, Ryan and I rode the front. He thought uh, pretty much the same thing I did about the drive, where the back is better. Now, he has not done the very back. The farthest back of the train he's been is row seven. He said it's better in the back of the train. I think we're all in the general consensus that uh, back row is better than the front on Rookie Racer. I will say my night ride tonight was uh, better than my night ride last time I was here, but in general, still not one of the better night rides in this park, especially when you have like the boss right next door, and then you have Screaming Eagle just up the hill, which we'll go to Screaming Eagle in a little bit, but I haven't done Mr. Freeze yet, and I want to ride that because I haven't been on a launch coaster in a hot minute because I was at Worlds of Fun since I was last year, and they don't have a launch coaster, so I do want to go down to Mr. Freeze, but so we'll be doing that here right now, actually. <laughs> That was really intense. In fact, I have a little bit of a headache from it. Now, it wasn't rough. I mean, it was just oh crazy God. forceful. Coming out of the inverted top hat backwards was just insane. And I forgot what it was like to ride a launch coaster after not riding one for like three weeks because I was at Worlds of Fun they don't have one. So that was just a really, really good ride there. And uh, the line for the ride is almost to the extent of you at the bottom of the spike. Like, I don't think I've ever seen it down there. Isn't that something, Ellis? Like, yeah, it's man. It's never down there. I, honestly, I feel bad for those people waiting. Yeah, they're only running one train but now we're not gonna go ride justice league because i've only ridden it twice today no you haven't done this one yet not today no and i went here yesterday but justice league was closed yeah. anyway we gotta get going so let's go ellis and i both maxed it but joker's back to being turned off again that's really unfortunate that it was working to an extent earlier now it's not working again like at all like fire effect was also missing so yeah that would be some serious help went down a little bit before I got on it because they're transferring a second train on. As you can see here, we literally got the transfer track sliding over and in just a minute, the blue train will come rolling out and uh, go through the ride layout. So let's watch this happen. <laughs> As you guys just heard, they stopped the blue train on the lift hill and now they're sliding the transfer track back over and then they will start the blue train up the lift hill. I figured that would be uh, cool to get some transfer track footage on this ride for you guys. I was gonna ride Boss since Eagle was delayed to put the second train on, but the flash pass line is really long and they're only running one train on this one still. 66 rides on it, which is definitely not as much as previous years, but to be fair, it was down a few times early in the season. Plus, I've only ridden it like what? No more like twice or maybe three times max in several of my visits because I don't know, I feel like some of my uh, fandom for this ride, I guess you could say, is starting to decrease. I feel like I've taken this ride for granted and I'm starting to realize that it's not exactly that special to me anymore. So, is it still the best coaster in the park? I would say by a little bit. I mean, freeze. That thing is starting to rival boss. So, I'll have to figure out which coaster I have ranked higher at the end of the season, which other now I think I still have boss a couple spots higher. But, freeze, I don't know. It might be better. I'll give it more thought. Let's go, I guess, start marathon and just until the park closes. <laughs> in the marathon a bit early tonight because it's starting to rain and i would love to get a rain ride on boss so i'm gonna head up that way and get that hopefully let's see if we can make it up there in time
I just ended out my uh, time riding boss the same way I ended it last season. That was a front row rain night ride. Now, it wasn't raining, but the tracks were slippery, and I could definitely feel that. The ride was hauling from start to finish, and I'm surprised the mid-course didn't trim that hard, honestly. And uh, the second half was low-key more intense than the first, honestly. It was just crazy. That was an excellent way to end out my time riding boss for this year, and I'm gonna miss it. I was not able to get to Six Flags St. Louis on its last day this year because the weather wasn't good, so this visit was my last for the year. My final ride count was eight on Justice League, three on Boss, two on Rookie Racer, and one on Mr. Freeze. In terms of highlights, Boss was running really good, getting to ride Rookie Racer with Ryan, also seeing uh, Eagle put the train on was pretty cool. I guess that's it for this vlog. Before you click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video, and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel and like what you saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit parks, so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. I don't know if I said this or not, but on the very last day of the year, I'll make a year in review. So stay tuned for that. And until then, I'll see you guys later.